hello, 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 hello to all my beautiful women and amazing men out there in the world. Nothing but tranquility and prosperity throughout your days, for real. I can say what I really, truly dislike. No, what I do like about local, I appreciate being able to shift in a 10-speed transmission. Like, truck, I appreciate that. And it's like, that's why I kind of advocate for those people when you go to CDL school, try to find a comp try to find a school that have manual trucks so you won't have a restriction on your license. But you know how there are some companies that they're not assigned trucks to certain drivers and that's fine. You'll be exposed to something like that. That's cool. But one thing I'm not fond of, say you get in a truck and it's on empty, you know, say you get in a truck and him or her decide to leave all their trash on the floor or in the seat, you know, courtesy. Or say if you get 50 miles down the road and the previous driver or someone didn't notify anyone of the truck not shifting from gears 9 and 10. You know, there's no type of indication. There's no type of notification informing you, letting you know what's up. So you end up getting stuck literally 50 miles down the road and it's bullshit. It is. I do not like stuff like that. I don't like really picking up the after nobody. I don't because I don't feel like I have to. And I don't know. I feel like there is a job meant for everyone. You know, there's people who are meant to be mechanics, diesel mechanics. There are people who are meant to be cashiers at grocery stores. There are people who are meant to sign shoes. And there are people who are, like, meant to work at the car wash. I don't know. And they enjoy doing it. So there are people who are supposed to load and unload trucks. I worked for Amazon before. I worked for UPS before. And I know what those environments are like. So I knew, I was fully aware of what I was getting myself into when I stepped into this. I'm very appreciative because I am able to take care of the things I need to take care of when I'm home. But being local, I feel like it's a little bit more mentally draining. Physically draining, yeah, but it's like so much goes out on the road within the inner city type areas. And people do the dumbest things, I'm telling you. Versus being out on the Interstate 80 in Iowa or 20 in Texas at night like i don't like driving in the daytime to save my life at all i don't i prefer night riding less goes on it's less hectic i'm like fully awake i don't know that's just my preference you know so i don't like that i know that when it comes to pay it's a huge financial sacrifice for some companies there are some companies that bless you financially being a local driver and there are some that i guess give you the bare minimum all based off what you feel like was minimum what's minimal to you you know like me what I get here I honestly can make more every week being over the road and of course it depends on what you're hauling what company you're with how much you're getting paid cents per mile etc list could go on it's many factors that go along within that so it's a different type of sacrifice that's personal discretion it is local is a sacrifice it is and i never felt like oh my goodness um driving trucks is make me feel like i'm less feminine i'm less of a woman anything like that everything's based off your own self-control you know i can still take care of myself as a young woman driving trucks even when I was over the road by not letting myself go it's all about your mentality that's all it is I'm telling you it's all it is some people don't like over the road within the first week within the first couple of days and that's fine they go try local that's still not for them that's fine keep figuring things out until you find your niche go through multiple different methods until you find what's best suitable for you and i'm telling you once you find that stick with it seek longevity with it be consistent with it and it'll work out um as far as local goes the shifts aren't that bad you know anywhere from like nine to ten hours like regularly that's not that bad it's not 
it's almost as much as like driving over the road as local so that's not something I can complain about at all um I don't know <laughs> I just felt like when I became a local driver I already had a strong idea of what I was getting myself into because of previous jobs that I've held in the past so it's a sacrifice within itself it is um I never want to drive like trucks for the rest of my life no but I knew that when I started over the road it was for me now I've been doing local for some time it's not for me it's not in any event i definitely could go on elaborating on why local ain't for me but for the most part y'all get my drift it's for some people and it's not for some people but somebody has sent me a message um regarding this the ones who say you can't and you won't are probably the ones scared that you will think about it when you have an appetite and you need it to be fulfilled craving I mean like starving to accomplish and achieve certain things will you truly allow anyone or anything to get in your way as long as you're in control of that given situation nah man you won't when I started this trucking journey it was for a reason I didn't want to be out here driving trucks for the rest of my life. Some people do it and have that as their plan and that's perfectly fine. But make sure that it just works for you. Some women end up messaging me and ask me questions such as, what's the best and worst thing about this trucking industry as a woman? Others say things like, Oh, I have a male friend who drives trucks and he's telling me that I shouldn't drive trucks because of X, Y, Z, giving them multiple reasons on why they shouldn't drive trucks. And me personally, it's all based off self-discretion and opinion, honestly, because you could take someone else's opinion into consideration and further your own pursuits with it however you choose to. Me, I heard many stories about why I shouldn't get into this but I didn't allow someone else's limitations or mindset to steer me in a different direction because I wanted to try this for myself I saw that it brought me financial stability I saw that you can literally grow with this industry if you have effective and efficient plans placed forth you know if you honestly are on a path and you know exactly where you want to be at within a few odd years and you feel like trucking can be the start of your platform to get you there do that do it and do not allow someone else's words opinions or judgments or whatever to steer you off of that path clearly right many of us choose to disclose what we feel that's necessary to broadcast publicize or promote whatever we have going on within this profession whatever we have going on within our lives now i'm telling y'all i've had many bad days over the road and i've had many great days the most general thing i could possibly think of of what a lot of women may experience is just it's honestly harassment i guess you know it's many things that i chose not to disclose on camera because i didn't feel like it was necessary you know certain things i kept to myself because I put myself in this position so I should be big enough to handle my own. That's how I feel. That's how I think. Everybody could say something else differently, you know. It's really honestly how you handle yourself, I feel like. As a woman, I can't speak for no men out there, there will be times you will be presented with situations to where you may need help with anything pertaining to your load your truck 
direction i don't know something you'll need help in some aspect so you just have to be wary or careful on who you ask because honestly everybody ain't for it everybody will not be for you there are some people who honestly don't want to be bothered by you and there are some people who will genuinely want to help you out with nothing in return you just got to be able to be selective on how you go about asking for help who you go about it with and the homie honestly her and I was discussing something and she has said life is interesting look at everybody you met and see if they were a good lesson or if they were a bad lesson just know understand everybody who pop in and out your life does not hold significance or does not have any merit to your life at all but I can say that I've met a handful of people all over the world and I know let's just say I've been blessed with many situations I'll just say that some of the most intriguing aspects of what I encountered honestly within like areas of Denver Colorado and Seattle Washington near the mountains I grew like an appreciation for meditation straight up even while I'm driving it's like you feel something internally that's unexplainable you know being that I wasn't really familiarized with those areas the exposure of those environments was something different that I didn't feel when I was at home but you learn how to like segue your way into a new realm of opportunities I don't know how to explain it but it's it's, it's a different type of feeling I say that it is straight up so for the women who keep on contemplating about whether you want to step into this industry whether you want to go local whether you want to do over the road figure it out evaluate as much as possible and see whether this will be deemed suitable for you or not there are many factors to consider when doing this it is so find a way i'm telling you you'll figure it out in due time everything revolves around time so do what you love love what you do make sure it works for you especially being over the road don't allow somebody else's bitterness to affect your joy inside you know that damn good feeling that you feel inside straight up man.